Yeah, hopefully in just a moment, Robert Reich is going to be with us. We are, we are waiting for him to arrive. But uh, from, from Bernie's statement last night, once again, the people in every state in this country, uh, Senator Sanders said, should have the right to determine who they want as president and what the agenda of the Democratic Party should be. That's why we're in this race until the last vote is cast. That's why this campaign is going to the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia with as many delegates as possible. Robert Reich is on the line with us, the uh, former Secretary of Labor in the Clinton administration, currently the Chancellor's Professor of Public Policy at the Goldman School of Public Policy, UC, University of California. His most recent book, Saving Capitalism, for the many, not the few, his website, of course, robertreich.org, R-E-I-C-H. Uh, Secretary Reich, welcome back to the program. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm well. It's been too long since we've talked. I'm, I'm, I'm curious your, your take on the state of the race, as it were, and the state of the party. Uh, well, I, I mean, Bernie Sanders does face uh, decreasing odds. It's going to be very, very difficult for him to get the nomination. Uh, you know, I won't say he can't get it because this election season has defied all... Uh, people who uh, are political, so-called political experts and prognosticators. I mean, uh, you know, remember what they said before Michigan. Uh, but it, uh, but undoubtedly, uh, the window of possibility is closing. Yeah, yeah, it seems. My, uh, uh, are you still there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, the, the Michael Lerner, a, a friend of mine, Rabbi Michael Lerner out of uh, uh, Seattle, has uh, po- put up an op-ed on the uh, Huffington Post today, suggesting that now is the perfect moment to create a movement uh, that is, you know, kind of Bernie-centric but bigger than Bernie, and that will last long, you know, generations from now. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, your friend is exactly right. Um, you know, th- this campaign, uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign, um, really is not and uh, has never been mainly about Bernie Sanders. He's the first to admit it. Uh, it is about a movement to reclaim our democracy uh, from the moneyed interests uh, and thereby uh, essentially have an economy that's working for the many rather than the few. Uh, that's why Bernie got in. Uh, if it hadn't been Bernie Sanders, uh, somebody like Elizabeth Warren uh, would have uh, fueled the same movement. The movement was already there, uh, and Bernie Sanders has give for, given force and effect to it. Uh, and that movement uh, has attracted unprecedented support in this election. Uh, millions of young people, record number of, of small donors, upsurge of progressives. Uh, again, not because Bernie Sanders his own personality or his own personal charm, but it's his message. Uh, it's what he is saying. Uh, and I think it will, of course it will live on, and uh, far beyond this election. I mean, real changes, as you know, real change in the allocation of power takes years to achieve. We've seen that again and again in American history, and this movement has really just begun. So for this movement, this progressive movement that's happening within the United States and within the Democratic Party, which is something that I'm, I think is a really good thing, capital G, capital T, um, what in your mind are the, uh, to prioritize issues, what are the top issues? Well, the most important thing is getting big money out of politics. Uh, the second big thing is to reduce inequality because the more concentrated income and wealth you have at the top, the more likely it is that some of that wealth and income is going to corrupt our politics. So uh, one of the ways of reducing the danger of uh, big wealth affecting and undermining democracy is uh, reducing inequality. And you can reduce inequality by uh, through the tax code. That's one way. We re- can reduce inequality by uh, developing a stronger labor movement uh, and we can reduce inequality uh, by developing more of a countervailing power uh, to the big corporate, Wall Street, and billionaire power that is now dominating our politics. Uh, those are the major issues, and Bernie Sanders certainly has given voice and power and meaning to those issues. But remember, those were the issues that people were uh, talking about. They were the heart of the Occupy movement. Uh, mm. they, they have animated progressive populism in the United States for many years. Uh, and uh, again, I, I, it, is, it is a movement. What Bernie can do, if he does not get the nomination, uh, is use his extraordinary list 
of supporters and contributors uh, and make that list available so that uh, the movement can develop not only Bernie as a leader, but other leaders as well, and it can uh, have local chapters and, and state chapters and become uh, the political force that it must be in years to come. Mm. And, and uh, you know, a, a good movement. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left, uh, uh, Professor. Do you, see, do you see anything emerging right now as that? Beyond the Bernie uh, well, campaign, I, I think Tom people are still understandably uh, focusing on 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 Bernie mm. and also on the uh, the upcoming primaries in Oregon and, and uh, in Indiana and, and California, District of Columbia. Uh, those uh, are still going to generate delegates, and uh, many people then are are beginning to push the Democratic platform committee, and hopefully, uh, the Democratic platform committee can. Uh, become a little bit more responsive to yeah. these large numbers of Bernie supporters. But well in terms of the, what I'm talking about, that is the movement and yeah. using all of the Bernie support and his lists, uh, that comes later. I think that comes after uh, yeah. the nominating convention, yeah. if th- it turns out that Bernie th- does not become the nominee. I think you're right. And, and we're flat out of time. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. Thanks very much, Tom. Thank you. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.